Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Not eight, not six, but seven and a half. All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down. Changing his voice every time because I forget it every other time. Make a Princess B, we're all counting on you to find her, and I don't feel like talking to the rest ever. So let's check here for literally no reason. What do you want? I'm standing guard. Can't do anything there. Do do do. Vault card better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. Da 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 What do you want to do? The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chancellor must feel? No, I cannot imagine that because I'm Mario. I am Mario, Super Mario RPG, going to Adventure Time. I'm gonna go on an adventure and talk to this guy. Drop the monster, smash them all. It'll do you good. Trust me on this one. Drop the monster, smash them all. It'll do you good. Trust me on this. What? Wait, that guy gives you something. I think. At some point, maybe. I guess Mr. Soso really was kidnapped by Bowser. I guess so. Do you still say it? Yeah, you do. You're weird. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna try something weird. Oh, man. oh well. I was gonna try to like walk in her exactly her path. For no re re for no real reason. So that's Bandit's way to Kiro Suez. Kiro Suez. This is the entrance! Really? I guess. Grandpa says to watch out for Beloma, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert! Hello there, everybody. This is that one voice in your head here for some post commentary. Sorry about this. Um, I, my original recording, the live recording for this, it became very bland, very boring, and uh, I just I don't know what was wrong with me. But I guess it was a long recording session. I didn't feel up to it anymore, or something like that. But you know, whatever. And another thing is. That's interesting is that I already tried doing this post commentary thing, but I didn't understand how to do it properly with this new setup that I was using for post commentary, and I completely screwed it up. So, um, and I didn't have enough time that day to try again. So, here I am doing it today so I can get this video out to you. So, we are in the Caro Sewers. Here, trying to find uh, the end so we can get to Mala's grandpa. So these are our new enemies. So let us show them off. This is the Boom Shadow and Hob Goblin. And yeah. So in my original commentary, I like I wasn't like at all there was long pauses whenever I did talk I tripped over my words it was just a big bother and I just I, I couldn't let you guys listen to that so re-recorded that's like the best thing I could do about it so these guys these guys are a very interesting bunch. This the hop goblin over on the right, he's not doing everything that he can do. He's just doing like one thing. But this shadow here is doing quite a bit. I think pretty diverse in his moves. But that doesn't really matter. And that is a lucky. That is our first lucky of the game. Luckies are an interesting uh, ice cream, I guess. That's what it looks like to me. Um, 
they're interesting things. Once you, if you get one in a battle, once the battle ends, and that will show you right now, it will give you a chance to double your experience. Or double your coins. Oh, it's not your experience. It's to double your coins. And, uh, don't bother following the eggs. It's randomized. It's not actually. If you follow it, it'll always be in the middle. That's what it'll look like anyway. But it's very rarely in the middle. It's it like I said. It's randomized. It's not put. It doesn't show you where they're putting it. It just looks like they are. But it literally shows that animation every single time where it looks like that. And there we got a flower. So yay for that. Um, so if you get the Yoshi, you get double the coins. If you get that little black fuzzy thing, then you get zero coins. You don't get any coins at all. So, it's in your interest to get it, but it's not that huge of a penalty if you do it. Oh hey, once again, so let's kill this other rat. We'll be seeing plenty of these rats, so... Oh hey! <laughs> Another once again, so now let's beat this hobgoblin. I like it when things just work out that way. And there we go. For some reason, I thought those the lucky made you double your experience, but nope, it's your coins. I'm a dum dum. Anyway, this is monster chest thing whose name I currently don't remember. It is Pandorite. So this is basically like a mini box. Um, they're they have pretty high um, amount of health, a pretty high amount of health. They have attacks like bosses, the moves that they use. Like mo like I don't think any enemy has that move or another move that he's going to be using. Anyway, I'm stupid. He just used a fire move, so I'm gonna throw him a fire move. You know, like fire with fire. I thought it might work. It literally did nothing. At least it didn't heal him. In a lot of things, it would actually heal. And then there, I failed a action command. <laughs> that was him screaming. <laughs> anyway, so don't, don't throw a fire at the chest that spits fire. It also screams at you, which is interesting. I don't know how- I can't scream anymore. My voice doesn't allow it anymore. But, you know. What ifs? So, punch, punch. Try to kill it. And then here's another boss-like move. Flame Wall. I actually put this in an annotation, but Flame Wall had, like, some shades of yellow and stuff like that all over it in the original version of the Mario RPG. And hey, we defeated it. And we get a flower jar, so that's useful. And he gives a little bit more experience than the other guys. And he, we also get a true form pin, so that's nice. So if you'll just give me a second, I'm going to be putting that on. I actually forgot for half a second, and then I remember. So let's go to items, which is not in. Then let's go to special item, and with rare frog coin. It's a frog coin from Frog Fuchsias! And then equipment is where it is. So yeah. Let us continue on in the Karo sewers. And then we fight this rat thing. And in the middle of the fight, I was gonna cut it out normally, but I wanted to show off that I was using HP rain. And I unsuccessfully did the action command, so it only healed 32. I think that might have been good enough to heal Mario like just about all the way and the damage from the rat is actually what caused it to do other things caused it to have less health but anyway that I skipped to the end of the battle because the rest of it was pointless so let's continue on the Kero sewers now there's a bunch of water and some cheap cheeps So, we're walking and attacking underwater like normal, and the fishes are swimming! So they're making sense, and we make none of it. They don't hurt that much. What are they called here? I wasn't paying attention. Well, we'll find out again. At some point, maybe. 
Well, I don't know, but you guys should know. I just don't because I wasn't paying enough attention and I can't rewind while I'm post commentating. Anyway, there's a pipe that we have to go into, but the water level is too high and Mario doesn't have the ability to dive. So, that's that. And you can't jump out of the water here. You have to have like a little platform under you in order to have Mario jump. And here I am being a dum-dum, trying to get around, not being very successful. I think I eventually cut to where I'm supposed to go. I don't know exactly when that is, but eventually I get to a point to where I'm not going the right way for a long time, so I eventually cut. Oh, here I guess I'm showing off that, um, I don't know what I'm showing off, but here's the room that we were just in, um, and this is, we're actually supposed to enter from this side of the pipe from the other side with a star actually I actually say that in my regular commentary that where's the star I can't find the star and then I'm all the way over here like a dum dum which is where I started from after I fought that plunder chest thing I don't remember what it's called but yeah so let's continue on I skip I cut ahead to where I finally find my way back over here just so I can show off new things. And then I jump up here. I tried to jump over that rat like a dummy. And then I don't. And I also wanted to show that they run away. But then I just cut the rest of the battle. So let us go down and enter this pipe. This should take me to successful things. And a bunch of booze. So, I never actually showed a boo attack, so I decided to show this battle and let the boo attack a few times. Because just because I showed off the enemy doesn't mean I showed anything off about it. Because I killed that boo in one hit in that first battle. So I decided to let it show off what I can do. And this guy, I'm not keeping him alive because I didn't realize that he just used Dark Claw 30 times in the first battle. But it doesn't really matter because eventually we get to see exactly what he can do. And then we heal myself and actually do the action command right, as you can hear from that little jingle. And it healed uh, 40 rather than 32. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be an 8, an eight um, health difference or if it's better when you level up or what exactly happens. But it's that for now anyway anyway I keep using this boo now that I want to kill it and it's being a real bother so I finally hit it and kill it anyway so let us continue on I press this button the water has been drained I do the battle and then that and the water has still been drained but you know what I do? I do like the stupidest thing alive um, I'm gonna be jumping on that spring in a second and then I'm gonna be cutting everything up to the end of a battle because I like to show level ups and end of battle things and I learned super jump which is basically power bounce from um, Paper Mario if you've played that game so that one I didn't see what that one did but that one raised three and then this one, let's see, it raises one and one. So that one raises three, and then this one raised is two and one. So I think I do power. Yeah. And then I show the ending of another battle without even showing how I got to that battle. So uh, we learn Psychopath, which is actually the move. Okay, that one raises three and one. This one raises four. And then, so Psychopath is basically the move that is basically tattle of this game. Kind of. Um, what it does is, if you use it, it shows what that enemy is thinking. And what I do, what I've been doing in my videos, is showing what their psychopath thought would be. But if you do the action command right... Um, oh, here's a star, by the way. If you do the action command right, it'll actually show their stats. It'll show their health, their power, their defense, and a, a bunch of other things as well. And I'm very bad at the Psychopath Action Command. I'm actually 
gonna be showing it at some point in the future. And anyway, this is another move. Um, I don't remember what it's called. I probably should have not cut as much as I did to where it showed the name. I think it shows the name. Does it show the name? I'm not even sure. But um, what it did, it muted me. I think that's what it's called. It puts a little band-aid X on Mario's right thing. And then it prevents you from using special attacks. So it's not a very big deal in terms of um, when I battle normal enemies. So it'd be, it would be a dangerous thing in a boss fight, but not when I do this. But oh, what I did when I went on that uh, when I went on that spring, when I went on that spring, I I don't know what I was thinking, but I left. But it takes you out of the Karo sewers, outside of the pipe, and then I I left the screen. I went back to the hub world map. For some reason, I thought that maybe, hey, I finished the dungeon, I finished the Karo sewers, now I can move on to the next area, or something stupid like that. I was not thinking very much there, which kind of goes back to my terrible commentary. And, yeah. So that was that. That's why I had to skip all, that's why I skipped all that fun stuff. I didn't want to show any of that. Anyway, we finally progress to the next part, and this part is another interesting thing. Um, I'm speeding up this battle because I'm trying to run away. I don't know. Um, when you running away is something I literally never do in RPGs, unless it's a required thing, which it is in some RPGs. And in this one, um, I killed that shadow thing. Because I thought that was blocking me, and I it, it, I showed exactly what I we needed to be able to do. Um, I showed it there. Um, the video is going to be ending pretty soon here, and I'm gonna while I'm explaining me myself. But what you want to be doing here is you want to get a boo close to that area. You want to battle them, and you want to run away. If you jump on top of them while they're still while you and them are still in their invincibility frames you can land on top of them and then you can jump up one more story and then you can get that chest I showed that you can get up there but I accidentally fell like a dummy and I tried again and again and again and again and again and again and it just couldn't do it I couldn't do it I couldn't reach it it was I was just being terrible I that the time that I made it was actually like my second or third attempt trying it and then after that it just ended up never happening again I just couldn't do it again eventually I ended up killing the enemy um, I left the dungeon tried to reset things but I didn't leave the screen so the dungeon didn't actually reset I just left and came back and didn't try to make the enemies reset I thought I could do it over there but then I rage quit it because I couldn't do it I couldn't land on top of the boo that I was fighting so I was like I give up who cares and then I went down and then uh, um, next episode there will be a boss fight with something that I think was mentioned in the game already but I'm not quite sure and just in case it wasn't I'm not going to say anything so I'm sorry for the post commentary next episode it might be live commentary it might be post commentary I didn't listen to beyond this point so thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one alright have a good one peace